YouTube channel. Welcome back to a new vlog. We're in a parking garage and it's kind of dark. We're going on a little brunch date. We brought Lady. I'm trying to just be in my fall and winter mode and this weather is playing tricks with me as always. It's like super sunny. I'm probably gonna be sweating in this sweater but I refuse to dress like it's summer because it is November. So I'm trying my best to cosplay winter in Southern California but the nights have been really nice and like feels crisp when we go on like nighttime walks and stuff but during the day we're still sweating a little bit. Got a little strawberry smoothie. My party drank his cappuccino. This is our breakfast view today. So pretty here. Amazing. Beautiful day. Lovely. Beautiful life. Lady, where is she? She's roaming. <laughs> I don't know where she is. <laughs> Lady! <laughs> got some avocado toast with an egg and Leif got their soft scramble. And then, yes, we did get fries, even though it's breakfast, because their fries here are so good. It's like brunch. It's a little lunchtime, kind of, so it's fine. Just do what you want to do. Exactly. It is the next day. I just got my new sheets in the mail. I wish the sun didn't set so freaking early. Otherwise, I could take you guys through this whole process, but I was about to um, put these in the washer. But I wanted to show them to you first because I want to wash and dry them before I put them actually on my bed. My current sheets and pillowcases are Brooklinen. They have been for like years. And my new ones are also from Brooklinen because they are just the best. But I switched it up this time for a little fall and winter refresh. And I got a different color. So I got these sheets. I believe this is the warm gray color on their website. And then I got this for the duvet these little brown stripes and then I got some extra pillowcases as well with the stripes. This is their Luxe Sateen, which is the same fabric as the current sheets on my bed right now. It is just like the softest fabric and it gets even softer the more you wash it. I've had them for years. I do not mess around with my bed sheets and my duvet. Like I'm so specific about bedtime and my nighttime routine. You guys know that. I'm going to unbox these. But I'll probably put them on my bed tomorrow with you guys um, just because it's so dark already and I still want to wash them and dry them. So I'm going to do that tonight and then they'll be dry tomorrow and tomorrow morning we can put them on the bed. Here is the duvet cover. So cute. So right now, Brooklinen is having like a Black Friday Cyber Monday sale. Oh, I'm about to sneeze. So it is the perfect time if you guys are interested in getting new sheets, if you want to buy them as a gift for someone, whatever, if you want to restock on Brooklyn and products. A hack is to get like one of the hardcore bundles, which is um, what I got. It'll save you more money, especially with this sale because it like adds savings on top of savings. Basically it comes with like the core sheet set, pillowcases, the duvet cover, the whole thing, and you save money. So anyway, I would recommend that if you want to do a whole new bedding situation. Here are the sheets. They're so nice. I'm gonna go put these in the washer. Get them nice and clean to put on our bed. And I'll see you guys in the morning. close of the bedding it is so cute you guys this just freshened up our space so much i feel like it just added so much and i love it just kind of a little close-up of the fabric i think this is so freaking cute we're gonna light a little candle make the space extra cozy i think i might be converted to having like patterned sheets and duvets and stuff i've literally all only ever had white i think maybe i've had something else but it's been a long time if i have i'm obsessed with this i feel like this just elevated our room and it's so cute anyway um brooklyn and has a ton of products obviously sheets bedding duvets all of that but they also have towels all our towels are brooklyn in my um sleep mask that i wear every night is brooklyn in they just have so much stuff and a lot of good stuff for gifts or just again if you want to stock up for yourself and take advantage of the sale that's going on right now i'll put the info a little 
little more info on the screen. And also they have a bunch of different patterns, colors, all of that. So if you're interested in upgrading your sheets or getting something new, they have a bunch of options on their site. Um, this specifically is the Luxe Sateen and they have a bunch of colors and patterns. They also have linen sheets. Anyway, I am so grateful that they're a sponsor for this video because I just love them and I use them in day-to-day -day life. So if you're interested, go check it out. I will leave a link in my description as well for you guys. Haul time. Guys, I went absolutely feral at Anthropology. I got so much stuff that I'm gonna show you. Am I gonna fix the pillows? No, I'm not. Okay, so I'm hosting Friendsgiving this weekend. I think I told you guys that. And I don't have a lot of hosting stuff. My mom is the hostest of the mostest. She, my entire life, has hosted so many events. She's always the person that's throwing something at her house. And she has entire closets full. Sorry, I actually have to fix this because it's bothering me. She has entire like prop closets full of just hosting stuff. I don't have any of that stuff, which is fine. I'm still young and I have time to collect stuff. But that being said, now that I've started to host more things, just girls nights and things like this, I feel like I'm trying to just build up my collection of stuff. So this is the stuff I got for the Friendsgiving and just to have in my repertoire for like cute place settings and stuff. I got a bunch of these candle holders, which I think are really cute. I got a few different like shapes and heights. So I got these two and then I got like two more or one more of each of those. And then I also got a little bit smaller for a little different levels. And this kind, I think one more of those. I got like six of these candle holders, I think, which I think will be really, really cute on the table. And I can obviously use these for like any event ever. They will come in very handy. I feel like I could use these for Christmas, Halloween, like anything, any holiday. So I feel like that was a good purchase. And then I got these candle options to go in them. So these are mini taper candles and I got this really pretty dark red color. So these ones will go in the smaller like tiny ones and then in the bigger ones I got a few different kinds of candles as well which I will show you okay where are my other candles I'll just pull stuff out as I see it I guess I got these napkins that I think are so cute they're linen and each is a set of four there's eight people coming to the Friendsgiving so this is perfect I just realized is there eight people including me I think so but I thought these colors were really pretty Kind of like fall, autumn-ish. It's still a little girly. I will use those forever, I feel like, too. I got this bow for myself for my hair. And this, it looks massive. It is massive, actually. But I kind of like tested it out with my hair down and or like half up. And it actually looked really cute. So I think I might wear this for a little Friendsgiving thing. Okay, I got these ribbons, which this isn't really for the event. I might use this for something. It's just like a kind of gold cute ribbon. But these I just thought were really cute for gifts for just the holiday season in general. How cute is this like spark? Darkly colorful ribbon twine and then this velvet ribbon. So I got those three which I think are really pretty just for the holidays in general. Okay, this is massive but it was on sale and I feel like it's perfect for this event. It's this dish and it just has like these little crops on the side. I just feel like this color is really, really pretty and I was wanting to make like a mac and cheese or like a potato dish and I feel like it would be really pretty in here. Hopefully it's like the right size, but this was um, on sale and I just feel like it's perfect for the dinner we're doing. Another candlestick thing I found. Oh, here's some of the candles I got. So these candles to go in like the little bit thicker candlestick holders. These candles as well. They're just like twisted kind of. What is that called? I don't know but I like these colors, it's like gray, black, and white. I probably won't use the black ones. I'll probably use the gray or like tannish and the white one. What else did I even get? Oh, I got a little Christmas candle. Lake and I were just getting in the holiday spirit. So we picked up this because look how freaking cute this is. That's a candle. It smells so good. It's fresh balsam, 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 and cedarwood. It smells like a Christmas tree, basically. It's very Christmassy and very cute. So we got that just for our house. And then this is the last thing. I don't know what it is, forgot. Oh yeah, I got this little vase as well to put some flowers in. I kind of want to go thrifting either maybe tomorrow or the next day. I guess I should look around my house too at what I have, but just as far as like little vases or things go, because I want to do a few little cute flower arrangements with some like fall colored flowers for the table as well. I also, oh wait, I think it came. I ordered a tablecloth off Amazon. I'm gonna see if it came, I think it did. That's all I got from Anthro. That's all. I mean, I kind of went actually crazy. That is it for the Anthro haul. Let me see if that package came. Okay. Oh wait, that's definitely not it. That's the wrong package. This is an Amazon package. Wait, where did the table runner go though? So I ordered this 
just like tan linen tablecloth. I feel like this will be cute. And it kind of has like these little frills. Can you see that? On the end. I got this table runner that is like gingham. It's like a brownish tan gingham for like across the table. And then I wanted to do like flower arrangements and the candlesticks and stuff like that. And then everyone will have like a place to sit. But I got two of these because Chelsea, I'm throwing it in Chelsea's backyard because she has a really cute, nice backyard now and it's just like spacious and she has tables from when she hosted the little murder mystery party. So I'm gonna use her tables and we're gonna do it in her backyard. So I bought two of these to go the length of the two tables, which I think will fit. But now I'm worried about that table runner. I thought it was supposed to be here like two days ago. I need to check in on that because I need to make sure that that comes in time, but I still do have a little bit of time. But I'm just trying to get everything, all my ducks in a row. So I also want to do little, I have cute like wine glasses and just different like fancier glasses that I'm going to bring. And I've seen some people doing cute like ribbons on, like just bows on those. And I think that would be really cute. So I also need to order some ribbon. I obviously have this one that I bought, but I feel like this might be too thick but i feel like the ribbon or like the bows tied on the glasses is super cute too so i might do that okay but also um my friend rachel is in town right now you guys know she went to europe and she was there for like a while like a month or so and then she was back in arizona and she's she's visiting here now she brought us the cutest gifts and i had to share because she just gave this to me the other night but it's this little first of all look at this case so cute and it's my own personalized lip balm in this beautiful case with my initials on it it's like hot pink but it's this lip balm with a mirror and there's like plastic right there i just need to rip it off but how beautiful is this i'm definitely just gonna keep this in my purse as my little lip balm and i love it so much she was saying once the lip balm is done you can like keep it as like a little pill case or something because you can just keep this little thing forever so i thought that was so thoughtful and so cute the brand what is the brand officine universal it's like french or something i feel like this is definitely a european brand obviously she got it in europe but the reason i'm bringing this up is because i actually just saw on my for you page today it was like the it girl gift of the season and it was these they were like this is such a cute gift for your friends i figured maybe it was like a well-known brand which maybe it is and i'm just i just don't know about it but anyway this is the brand you can read under my name i don't know how to pronounce it and yeah i just thought this was so so cute such a great gift i love a personalized gift it just feels special and i love something that i can just like use every single day love that thought that was really cute the sun is going down i need to take lady on a walk right now and then i'll catch up with you guys later it is the day of the friendsgiving i have been running around like a crazy person all day i'm vlogging for tiktok or i'm like kind of just capturing everything prepping setting up and all that stuff between filming that and doing it i literally forgot to grab my vlog camera for any footage but let me show you guys my outfit so i'm wearing this free people sweatshirt or not sweatshirt sweater this black little like silk mini skirt and then black boots and then I put a little bow in my hair. It's that one I showed you guys from Anthro. It's like orange. It's really cute. So here's the fit. And then I made this baked mac and cheese. This is my first time making it and I really hope it's good. My mom told me about the recipe and she's like, it, it's really easy and it should just turn out good. So it looks good. I made that. It's still like really hot. I need to transport it to Chelsea's. And then I made pumpkin chocolate chip cookies. They're so good. I left a few out for Leif, but I um, we just taste tested them and they're so good. I just had to wrap them with plastic wrap to transport them. They Turned out great. Do you want to come to Friendsgiving? You are unfortunately not invited this time. <laughs> oh, you're so cute. Okay guys, here is the setup. We're waiting for all the food. All the food is gonna be on this little section of the table and then this is where we're all gonna eat. There's eight of us coming. I did little bows on all the glasses, which is so cute. I need to light the candles still, but we did some floral arrangements. And then also, this is Kenzie's brand, friend of mine, it's so cute. She has these dinner cards. We are gonna go through these and like answer some of these at dinner tonight. So cute. We're lighting the candles. So pretty. Got biscuits from our favorite place with this honey. So good. Danny is making some charcuterie. Charcuterie queen. We are going Christmas tree shopping. Leif drove by this place last night and was like, wait, this is a cute little, like they have smaller trees. It's not really a Christmas tree lot. It's like a plant place, but they have some Christmas trees, real ones, and they're small, which we kind of need for our house. Like we can't really have a big tree. So this could be perfect. We've been wanting to get our tree and decorate a little bit for Christmas so that we can, you know, actually enjoy it for a little bit. Bring in the holidays. Spirit. That's right. So we're gonna go see what they have. 
lady's waiting for my seatbelt to come off. And then she'll freak out. Watch. She's so excited and overwhelmed with excitement. <laughs> How do you even make those sounds? Here we are. Fresh Christmas trees. Wait, these are already so cute. That's cute. How tall do you think that is? Like six? Well, probably taller than six, but. Yeah, seven to the top. It says on here. Six, seven. Hmm. This is the one I was pointing at. I know, that one's cute. That one's like, yeah, a little taller than that one. Yeah, I kind of like it. It's sparse. It's almost like we could get away with it even being smaller. Or shorter. Yeah, we could. Like, one of these maybe. Look at this little baby one. Four, five? No way! Yeah. I'm not four foot five. I'm no, five. No, four to five feet. Oh, that's what it means? I think so, right? But still, I'm 5'3". Yeah, 4 that's to 5 taller. feet. <laughs> Slay. If you want to get craftier, perfect. throw it on the... <laughs> yeah, no, we're good. You good? Alright. Yeah, Thank so you. Give me this stuff. Alright, have a good Thanks. Christmas. Thank you so much, yeah, you you're too. you're welcome. Hi, can I do the roasted red pepper egg bites? And I'll do a grande hot chocolate with oat milk and then can I do a pup cup and that's it. A pup cup for a cute girl. <laughs> Here's our tree. Perfect height. Our ceilings are eight feet and this tree's like six and a half probably. We need to take that sticker off. It's the perfect size. I got my Starbucks hot chocolate. You gotta get a Starbucks, a Starbies hot cocoa at least once during the holiday season. Are you okay, lady? I just got regular hot chocolate this time with oat milk. Usually I do like peppermint or snickerdoodle, but I was just feeling the plain, the plain hot cocoa vibes today. Cute. Do we have a like, I don't think we do. No. Have that's a what tree I was saying. skirt thing. A little skirt. Yeah, we need some sort of fabric put under there and then put some lights on, some ornaments. What do you think of the Christmas tree behind you? We're gonna try something together. Side note, I've been realizing ever since one of my TikTok mutuals has been making fun of the influencer accent. She like does this little bit called bland influencer or whatever where she talks about the influencer accent. Have you seen that? And when I'm speaking, I'm like, I have that. I have the influencer accent. What is it? Why do I talk like that sometimes? It's like the pauses between words. It's like, hey guys. I don't know how to explain it, but I think I have it. Um, anyway, I got sent this. I got sent <laughs> this. <laughs> we're trying Full the- sentences. We're trying the Cranberry Fizz Poppy. Cool, I'll well, focus. I got this uh, cup at the thrift store. A few days ago when I was shopping for Friendsgiving. I haven't cleaned it yet. Yeah, right. That's it. Ooh, that's already good. Um, isn't this cup so cute? Leif doesn't get it. Leif doesn't get the cup obsession. I get it. You're like, you love cups when we're at the thrift store. Nice. How is it? I like that one. I like it. I don't know if it's very cranberry-ish. I was just gonna say, yeah, I guess it is. Okay. Yeah. I like it. Sorry, this was a shorter, bit of a shorter vlog, guys. But we're gonna do our Christmas decorating in the next vlog. So get ready for that. And get ready because my ho-ho-ho... <laughs> what? Your ho-ho-ho era? And get ready because my ho 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 era is among us. It's 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 coming. The ho ho holidays. I wish I could be a ho. You can. Really? You are. Yeah. You are low key a really? ho. Yeah. <laughs> Have you seen his dance videos? Hey, love you guys. See you next time. Make sure to subscribe. Subscribe to my channel as well. Mm. Thanks. Leif uploaded a YouTube video, guys. Go check it out. I'm actually not kidding. 
he uploaded a cool YouTube video. You guys should check it out. Bye.